My next guest tonight is a comedian who's making his television debut with us this evening. His album, I'm Telling You for the First Time, is available now. Please welcome the very funny Tony Deo. <laughs> Thank you very much. I am very excited to be here. I will tell you guys a little about myself. Before I was a comedian, I was a school teacher. And my favorite story from teaching school, this kid was being expelled, and his dad told me he wasn't that worried about it because Albert Einstein was expelled from school too. <laughs> yes, sir, that's true. That's because Einstein was smarter than everyone else. <laughs> and he couldn't handle it. Your kid's being expelled for flapping his wiener out the bus window. <laughs> They have taken two different pathways in life. <laughs> when I uh, have a day off on the road, I like hanging out in those big bookstores. Whenever I go in there, I always run across that series of books called For Dummies. And they have for everything now. Gardening for dummies, interior design for dummies. I saw a brand new one. I am not making this up. Athletic scholarships for dummies. <laughs> I didn't know they came any other way. <laughs> I, I live in New York City. Uh, about a year ago, Hurricane Sandy went through New York. I was traveling at the time. But I was watching the news, keeping up with it. And on the news, they said that 38 people died that day when the hurricane went through. Now, 38 sounds like a big number, but New York's a giant city. It made me wonder how many people die there on a normal day. Turns out, 156. <laughs> hurricane Sandy saved lives. <laughs> I'd take my uh, computer into the help desk at the Apple store, but at the Apple store, they don't call it the help desk. They call it the Genius Bar. It's kind of a pompous name, don't you think? Genius Bar? It's like, sure, you know more about computers than I do, but let's be honest, you work at the mall right next to Cinnabon. <laughs> I've been married a while. I, uh, I have a friend that's in a new relationship, though. I find that to be quite amusing. <laughs> Just the other day, she told me when she and her boyfriend make love, time stands still. And I felt bad breaking the news to her that if they start making love at 9.25, and then when it's all done, she looks at the clock, and it's... <laughs> Still 925. <laughs> Johnny Endurance did not bend the space-time continuum. <laughs> Although he did travel at nearly the speed of light. <laughs> if he was any faster, it'd be 924. <laughs> when you've been married a while, they always have these little ideas, little things to help married couples keep the spice in their love life. The ones I can't stand, they have these little love coupon books. You know, they'll be like a coupon you can redeem with your wife for being intimate outside. Or another one for the back seat of the car. But I always feel like such a sleaze ball when I use them. Because <laughs> trust me, if my wife wanted to do it, we'd be doing it. <laughs> we don't need to bother ourselves with the exchange of coupons <laughs> or, or currency of any sort. So really, when you think about it, the only time I get to use them is when she's not interested. Yeah, you know, I'll be like, hey, babe, you want to? No? That's too bad, because I have a coupon. <laughs> I will try to make it quick. <laughs> Hell, if you're lucky, I'll make time stand still. <laughs> Thanks so much.